Hello, everybody. This is Young Family Taiji, Section 1 class. And today's new move is going to be uh, right brush knee. And we're going to review the whole sequence of brush knees and hand strum loop. Okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to review first. I'm going to turn around and we're going to do it from the beginning all the way up to hand strums the loop which was our last move. Okay? So, here we go. Feet shoulders width apart, toes facing forward, head up, hips down, hands by your side. Prepare. Opening. Turn your arms so that your palms face back. Raise up to shoulder level and press down almost to the bottom. Grasp the bird's tail, ward off left. Shift left, turn right, all the weight on the right. Step and close, shift weight separate. Right ward off. Shift right, turn the foot to the corner. All the weight comes to the left. Pull in, step and close. Shift weight and left and right ward off. Roll back, turn your waist and your arms to the corner. Then shift your weight back and turn to the other corner. Press, pull in the right, attach the left, expand forward. Push, square up your shoulders, flatten your hands, come back over a ball, hands in front of your chest, and push to shoulder level. Single width, shift back. Hands flatten, pull and turn all the way around. Press down, release the left foot. Ward off with the left, hook in with the right. Standing ward off, step, deflect, strike. Raise hands and step forward, shift back. Turn the left foot to the corner. Rotate your arms, root your right heel, close and 30% on the right. White crane spreads its wings. Turn your hands, pull down all the weights in the back. Circle your arms, uh, close and step, turn, step and separate your wings. Left brush knee, turn your hands, swing, step, brush, strike. Hand strum salute, yield forward and pull in the back foot. Pull in, pushing off the front foot and one hand up, one hand down. Your 30% should be on the heel of the left foot. And let's do another left brush knee. Turn your right hand over so the palm is up. Swing, step, brush, strike. How did that go? Judith has arrived. <laughs> So, do you have any questions? I want to make a few comments on the brush knee since we're going to be doing a lot of them today. So, um, uh, I want to work basically really secure the left brush knee 
because the right brush knee is a mirror image, but telling you that doesn't help much if you didn't really have left brush knee down, okay? So I'm gonna do it toward you so you can see my hands and my feet. So when you were at White Crane, you were at empty stance, left foot forward. In order to get into left brush knee, what you did was you turned your hands. So the right hand, uh, for the left hand is facing the right and the right hand is facing you. Then when you do your swing step, one hand up, one hand down, swing step. So the right hand swings and waves to the corner. The left hand makes a small circle from up to down. So one is swing down, the other one is press down. Okay, so the coordination is turn your hands, swing, step and you're looking at the right hand. Then when you're doing the brush part, the left hand brushes out and the right hand just comes to the, to the shoulder. And as the left hand comes down, the right hand goes forward. Meanwhile, your weight keeps shifting forward. So if, uh, if I show it to you from this side. Okay, so if I'm here, I turn my hands. I swing, step, brush, strike. So you can see my weight keeps going forward, but the coordination point is swing, step, when I flatten my foot, I am flattening my foot and moving my way forward. But when I get my foot flat, at that point, this hand should be out and this hand should be at the shoulder. Then I finish. When I finish, I'm bending my knee as I'm striking and pulling down here. So if you do it as a count, you're starting here. One, you're turning your hands. Two, your swing step. Three, you're flattening your foot as your left hand goes out and the right hand comes to the shoulder. And four, you're striking. Okay? So, one of the things I want to make sure is when you swing and come to your shoulder, all you're doing is bending your elbow. Can you see? I am not making some coming back, you know, some big circle or something. I am just coming in. That's it. And I'm keeping my elbow down. So my shoulder stays down and I'm keeping my round shape. So when I'm swing, I am not letting my shoulder, I'm not getting behind my shoulder. I am staying round. And the reason I can get to the corner is my body turned so that it can get to the corner, okay? So from white crane, turn your hands, swing, step, brush, and strike. Now, the next one is hamstrung salute. Hamstrung salute, you're yielding forward. So the weight goes forward. And this is like shaking hands with your uh, opponent. And you pull in your right foot. So you're one line, two sides. 
Then as you're moving back, you turn this hand so that it is uh, facing that way. Then as you come back, you're pushing off the ball of the left foot, changing your footwork, and then one hand up, one hand down. So you can see they're not very far apart. They're kind of in your center, and it's not like this. They're pretty close. They are the mirror image of raised hands. When you did raised hands, the right hand was slightly higher than the left. The left hand was pointing to the middle of the right forearm. And in this case, what happens here is when you come back, the hands are in the same position, but the energy is up and down instead. Okay. And resist the temptation to do some kind of big shoulder movement. Okay. The, the energy comes from your foot. So how you're getting your energy is when you pushed off your front foot and you change your footwork, your energy comes from putting your heel down into the ground. Okay. That's where your energy comes from. Not from moving your shoulders around or something. Okay. So in terms of the sequencing, uh, well, let's talk about right ward off, uh, right brush knee first, and that way we can do all of them in a string, okay? So what happens after left brush knee? How do you get from left brush knee to right brush knee? So if I'm at left brush knee, I'm here or I'll do it in the direction that you would be doing it first, and then I'll do it facing you. If I'm at left brush knee, I get to right brush knee by shifting my weight back and pulling my left hand up part way. Then by shifting my weight back, I'm releasing my left foot. So I'm turning my left foot to the corner as my hands come to roll back position in the middle of my body. Then as I shift my weight to the front foot, I'm going to swing, step, brush, strike. So the only parts that are tricky is the transition. So if I'm at left brush knee, the way I change to right brush knee is I move my weight back and put my left hand up part way. Then I turn my left foot to the corner as my hands come into rollback shape. In other words, when you did rollback, you were here. But I want you to transfer that hand shape to the center of your body. Then when I do swing step, I'm moving forward as my hands go up and down, swing, step, brush, strike. Questions? Yes, no? <laughs> So let's do uh, left and right in a row, okay? So if I'm at a uh, handstrom salute, so at the end of handstrom salute, I am here. How do I get into left brush knee? I turn my right hand over so the palm is up. Then swing, step, brush, strike. Right brush knee, 
Left hand comes up part way as I shift my weight back to release the front foot. Turn the front foot to the corner. Hands come toward the center. Swing, step, brush, strike. And to get to left brush knee from here, you shift your weight back, right hand comes up part way. Then turn the right toe to the corner as the hands come to the center. Then swing, step, brush, strike. Okay, any questions on that? Okay, so let's do the sequence in the direction you would be doing it in the form. If you were starting at 12 o'clock that way, what would happen is you would be at white crane facing this way. Then left brush knee, turn your hands. Swing, step, brush, strike. Hand strums the loop. Yield forward, pull in the right foot. Pull back as you push off the ball of the left. Change your footwork, one up, one down. Left brush knee. Turn your right hand so it's palm up. Swing, step, brush, strike. Right brush knee, shift weight back. R left hand comes up part way. Turn the left foot to the corner as the hands come to the center. Swing, step, brush. Strike, left brush knee, shift weight back, right hand comes up part way. Turn the right foot to the corner, hands come to the center. Swing, step, brush, strike. Hand strum salute, yield forward, pull in the right foot. Push off the ball of the left foot, position your hands, change your footwork, one hand up, one hand down. Left brush knee, turn your right palm up, swing, step, brush, strike. How did that feel? Good. So let's practice that a few more times so that you can get it smoother as you go across the room, okay? <laughs> so starting from White Crane, we're going to do left brush knee. Turn your hands, swing, step, brush, strike. Hand strums the loop, yield forward, pull in the right foot. Push off the ball of the left as you turn. Change your footwork, one hand up, one hand down. Left brush knee. Turn your right palm up, swing, step, brush, strike. Right brush knee, shift back, pull up your left hand part way. Turn your left foot to the corner as your hands come to the center. 
Swing step. Brush. Strike. Left brush knee. Shift weight back. Right hand comes up part way. Right foot turns to the corner as hands come to the center. Swing step. Brush. Strike. Handstrung salute. Yield forward. Pull in the right foot. Push off the ball of the left foot as your body turns toward the right. Change your footwork. One hand up, one hand down. Left brush knee. Turn your right hand up. Swing step. Brush, strike. How did that feel? It's okay when we follow you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Lorraine. I'm practicing by myself. I'm <laughs> strong <laughs> salute. You say you're pushing off the ball of your foot? Of your left foot, yes. So you're, so so if, you're lifting up your heel? So what happens here is I'm at left brush knee, okay? Mm -hmm. I am yielding forward. So it's like I'm shaking hands with the right. So my a weight is moving to the left, right? Mm -hmm. So that I can pull in the back foot. Then as I push off the ball of my left foot, see, I'm starting to turn and then I change my footwork, then one up, one down. Wow. Okay. Okay. Got it. So can you, can you yes. do it to the side so I can see how far back you you put okay. your, you put your so, legs? Uh, is it better one side than the other? Let's try this side. <laughs> okay. Okay. So I am at left brush knee. I yield forward. Pull in the right foot. Then I'm pushing off the front foot, right? Mm -hmm. I change my footwork. So it's, you have this one up, one down feeling. As you put your 30% down into the heel of the front foot. So very often when you do um, empty stances, if you're going to end up on the heel, you push off the ball and vice versa. So even when you were doing raise hands and step forward, when you were coming back, you actually were pushing off the ball of your right foot before you rooted and came together, right? So in this case, you're doing the reverse. You're here, you're yielding forward, pull in, then you're pushing off the ball of the front Then you have this. This is kind of a hard move actually, because it's hard to feel the energy because the movement is so small. You know, very often you feel more energetic when the movement is big. <laughs> I would like it to go again through the sequence from white crane and the um, from white crane all the way back to the second hand from salute. Okay, so let me tell you how the sequence works. From white crane, what you're going to do is left brush knee, right. hand from salute, left brush knee. Yeah. Then you're going to do a right brush knee. Right. Then you're going to do left brush knee, hand from salute. 
Left brush knee. Yes. Okay. No. So I'm going to do it in the direction you would be doing it if you had started facing that way. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. So you're here at the end of white crane. So left brush knee, turn your hands. Right hand is, is like a hand mirror and left hand is facing the right. Then swing, step, brush, strike. Hands from salute, yield forward, pull in the right foot. Push off the left ball as you turn. Change footwork, one hand up, one hand down. Left brush knee, turn the right palm up. Swing, step, brush, strike. Right brush knee, shift weight back. Left hand comes up part way. Left foot turns to the corner as hands come to the center. Swing, step, brush, strike. Left brush knee, shift weight back. L right hand comes up part way. Turn right foot to the corner, hands come to the center. Swing, step. Brush, strike, hand strum salute, yield forward, pull in the right foot, push off the ball of the left foot, change your hands, change your footwork and one hand up, one hand down. Left brush knee, right palm faces up, swing, step. Brush, strike. How did that go? Okay. So let's back up a little bit more. Let's go from single whip. Okay. So when we're at single whip, the next move is raise hands and step forward. So you're gonna shift right, turn the left foot to the corner, push off the ball of the right, circle your arms, root your right heel and come together. White crane spreads its wings, turn your hand. Pull down, all the weight is in the back. Circle your arms, step and close. Turn, step and separate your wings. Left brush knee, turn your hands. Swing, step, brush, strike. Hands from salute, yield forward. Pull in the right foot. Push off the ball of the left as you change your left hand. Change your footwork. One hand up, one hand down. Left brush knee. Turn your right palm up. Swing, step, brush, strike. Right brush knee. Shift your weight back. Left hand comes up part way. Turn your left foot to the corner as your hands come to the center. Swing, step, brush, strike. Left brush knee, shift weight back. Right hand comes up part way. Right foot turns to the corner as hands come to the center. Swing, step. Brush, strike, hand strum salute, yield forward, right foot comes back, push off the left ball 
as you turn and turn your hand, change your footwork, one hand up, one hand down. Left brush knee, turn your right palm up, swing, step, brush, strike. How's that going? Mm -hmm. It's just a matter of practice, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> the um, sequence is, the reason why I wanted you to think of left brush knee, hand strum suit, left brush knee as kind of a unit. It makes it easier for you to remember where things go, because there's only one right brush knee in the middle of all that. You're doing a lot of left brush knees for only one right brush knee. I admire your ability to dissect things into itty bitty teeny parts. Um, and But the funny thing is that, at least for me, the muscle memory will kick in so that those parts sort of flow together. And I'm amazed that you're, you know the whole form so well that you can take the flow and then dissect it. That, that, it's just, it's just stunning. Well, well, the bad thing about dissecting is <laughs> that the students often get as a very choppy thing, you know, right. they don't think of it as being smooth. And the reason I dissected is I want your hands and feet to be at a certain spot at the same time. So when, when I say swing step, okay, swing step. I want your hands and feet to be there in the midst of the move, right? Yes. Not that I want you to stop there, but, you know, as a matter of teaching, it's hard not to stop at various points. Okay. So let's try doing that without any stopping. See if you can do it all smoothly, okay? So let's start at White Crane. So at the end of White Crane, you are empty stance, ball touch, left foot forward. Left brush knee, turn your hands, swing, step, brush, strike. Hands from the loop, yield forward, pull in your foot, push off the front, one hand up, one hand down. Left brush knee, turn the right hand, swing, step, brush, right. Right brush knee, pull up the left, turn the left foot, hands come to the center, Swing, step, brush, strike. Left brush knee, right hand comes up, hand comes to the center as you turn your foot. Swing, step, brush, strike. Hand strum salute, yield forward, pull in the right foot, push off the left, turn. Change footwork, one hand up, one hand down. Left brush knee, turn your right palm, swing, step, brush, strike. How did that go? Okay, good. So let's do it a couple of times from the very beginning so that you get the flow of the whole thing, and then we'll close class, okay? Mm -hmm. Unless there's any part that you want to work on. Is there any piece you would like to work on? Yes, no? 
Okay. So let's do it a couple of times from the beginning. Okay. Hands by your side, head up, hips down. Relax. Prepare. Opening. Rotate your hands so they face the back. Come up to shoulder level, press down almost to the bottom. Grasp the bird's tail, ward off left. Shift left, turn right. All the weight is on the right. Step and close. Shift weight and swing the left hand up. Right, ward off. Shift right, left foot turns to the corner. All the weight goes to the left. Come in, step and close, ward off right. Roll back, turn your waist and your arms to the corner. Shift weight back, turn to the other corner. Press, pull in the right. Attach the left, expand forward, push, square up your shoulders, flatten your hands, come back over your ball, hands in front of your chest, push up to shoulder level, single whip, shift back, flatten your hands, pull and turn all the way around. Press down, release the left foot, ward off left, hook hand right. Standing ward off, step, deflect, strike. Raise hands and step forward. Shift right, turn the left foot to the corner. Push off the right ball, circle your arms, root the right heel and close. White crane spreads its wings. Turn your hands, pull down all the way to the back. Circle your arms, step and close. Turn, step and open. Left brush knee, turn your hands. Swing, step, brush, strike. Hand strum salute, yield forward, pull in the back foot. Push off the ball of the front as you turn. Change your footwork, one up, one down. Left, left brush knee, turn your right palm up. Swing, step, brush, strike. Right brush knee. Shift weight back, left hand comes up part way. Left foot turns to the corner, hands come to the center. Swing, step, brush, strike. Left brush knee. Weight shifts back, right hand comes up part way. Turn the right foot to the corner, hands come to the center. Swing, step. Brush, strike, hand strums the loop, yield forward, right foot comes in, push off the left as you turn, change your footwork, one up, one down, left brush knee, right hand turns up, swing, step, brush, strike. Did that feel pretty good? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, Rito? Yes. A, a hand strum salute after you push off your ball of your foot, you're saying to turn. Where, where are you turning? I am turning toward the right. Mm -hmm. So what happens is the difference between a ball touch and a heel touch in terms of the body orientation is the heel touch is turned more to the side. So 
For example, when I did raise hands, when I come, can you see that my body is turning mm -hmm. as I close? Mm -hmm. So when I'm doing hand strum salute, I yield forward and I pull in. As I'm coming back, I'm changing my hand, the bottom hand. I am turning to the side. I'm pulling my opponent toward me. And then, so my shoulders are actually facing more to the corner. This is a heel touch as opposed to a ball touch. When I did a ball touch, also left foot forward, white crane. Can you see my shoulders are much more square mm -hmm. as opposed to when I did hand strum salute and I came back and I have a heel touch? It's much more toward that way. So that's why there's a waist turn there. Okay. So it's a combination of the waist turn and putting 30% of the weight into the heel that gives you the energy for that one. In other okay. words, in other words, uh, in white crane, it's heel first, right? No. Well, you're pushing off your so when you're here, uh -huh. well, white crane is different because you're coming from a different place. So white crane, you were here. Yeah. You turn your hands so that you can pull down, yeah. right? Then you circle, step and close. Then you turn, step and open. Oh, okay, right. So I saw the, the right, way right the energy that. comes in a different in a different way because you were here and you can see I'm pretty obviously turned toward the corner at the end of raise hands. I'm turning my hands so that I can pull down and clear my body. So when I'm pulling down, step and close. Turn, step, and open. Okay. Yes? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any questions on that? It makes sense. <laughs> okay. So, uh, Let's do it one more time from the beginning and then we'll close class. Unless there are any questions. Questions? No. Okay. Okay, hands, shoulders, uh, feet, shoulders width apart. Hands by your sides, heads up, hips down. Prepare. Opening, rotate your arms. Palms facing back, come up to shoulder level, press down almost to the bottom. Grasp the bird's tail, left ward off. Shift left, turn right, all the way to the right. Step and close, ward off and shift weight. Right ward off. Shift right, turn the left foot to the corner, all the weight goes to the left, come in, step and close, ward off right, roll back, turn and shift weight to the right, shift back and turn to the left, press, pull in the right. Attach the left, expand forward, push, square up your shoulders, flatten your hands, come back over a ball, hands in front of your chest, 
push up towards shoulder level. Single width. Shift weight back as you flatten your hands. Pull and turn all the way around. Press down. Ward off with the left. Hook hand with the right. Standing ward off. Step, deflect, strike. Raise hands and step forward. Shift right. Turn the left toe to the corner. Circle your arms as you push off the right foot. Root your right heel and close. White crane spreads its wings. Turn your hands, pull down, all the weight is in the back. Circle your arms, step and close, turn, step and separate. Left brush knee, turn your hands, swing, step. Brush, strike, hands from salute. Yield forward as you push off the ball of your left, of your right foot, pull in. Push off the ball of the left as you turn, change your footwork, one hand up, one hand down. Left brush knee, turn the right palm up. Swing, step. Brush, strike. Right brush knee, shift weight back as the left hand comes up part way. Turn the left toe to the corner as the hands come to the center. Swing, step, brush, strike. Left brush knee, shift weight back. Right hand comes up part way. Right foot goes to the corner as the hands come to the center. Swing, step, brush, strike. Hands from salute, yield forward. Pull in the right foot. Push off the ball of the left. Change footwork, one hand up, one hand down. Left brush knee. Turn your right palm up, swing, step, brush, strike. One of the things that's kind of hard uh, for beginners, but I should remind you of, since I told you when we first started, remember that, um, I said that when you're opening, that determined the pace, okay? Once you did left ward off, that is the height that your form should be at. So what that means is that when you're here and you do swing step, brush, strike. When you change, can you see my head is at the same height? What you're supposed to avoid doing is when you're here and you're changing, you're not supposed to come up and then come down again. Okay, keep, use your legs to keep everything at the same level. That tendency, huh? it is a tendency. It's easy to say, but harder to do. This is true. <laughs> <laughs> But if you can do it, it will help your balance a lot. So just keep it in mind and try to do it when you think of it. <laughs> I, I think that point is really good about the evenness of the height of things. Yes. Last week, 
maybe it was the week before we talked about stacking and yes. I, I still think that that word belongs in the poetry of what you're saying <laughs> like when root you know uh, root your right foot um um i would add that stacking be before a, a major step or certainly before a kick um because that also is what keeps your head level but yes keeps it's the only thing that keeps me from toppling over <laughs> um, well stacking is most obvious when you're doing something like kicking because you're on one leg right. but you're actually stacking when you're from the very beginning when you're going from left ward off to right ward off when you're at left ward off let me start here left ward off okay and i'm going to right ward off okay when i come in i'm stacking here before i step out in other words whenever i have all my weight on one foot i am stacking can you see that but that made a big impression on, on me and helped in those movements a lot. I want to thank you for that. Oh, you're welcome. I'm glad it helped. <laughs> so thank you very much for coming to class. And I will see you next week. And next week is Perry Block and Punch. Another exciting move. <laughs> thank you, Rita. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Just have a comment, Rita. Yes. I'm glad I took two first beginning classes of section one. By the time this third time, <laughs> said, your class is a master class. Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank You're you. welcome. See Bye. you next week. <laughs>